Los Angeles investigators this morning call it one of the largest health insurance scams in California history. An orthopedic surgeon and more than a dozen associates are charged with bilking insurance companies. The alleged total, more than $150 million. Vladimir Dutier of our digital network CBSN shows us how one defendant already made national headlines in a murder case. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Two grand jury indictments revealed what California prosecutors called an organized criminal enterprise with Dr. Munir Ueda as the ringleader. He and his staff are accused of putting greed over the health of patients with allegations of conspiracy and insurance fraud spanning more than a decade. One by one, associates of Dr. Munir Ueda pleaded not guilty this week to lying to patients, disfiguring some in botched surgeries and cheating insurance companies out of millions. According to grand jury documents unsealed Tuesday, the orthopedic surgeon and his staff profited off a medical practice built on a fraud in which they paid attorneys and others $10,000 a month for illegal patient referrals, billed insurance companies for bogus exams, and falsified MRI and other records to justify surgeries, some of which were never even needed. But the most serious charge revolves around the surgeries themselves. Ueda and his staff allegedly tricked 21 people into thinking he would perform their operations, when instead they were done by a physician's assistant. Once the patients were under general anesthesia, Peter Nelson would do the surgeries, without Ueda in the room, which is against the law. In a statement, prosecutors said those patients sustained lasting scars and many required additional surgeries and suffered physical and psychological trauma. This isn't your typical kind of med, med fraud case. They're actually going something much higher level, They're, you know, claiming, hey, you, you put people in danger. Richard Winton has been following the story for the Los Angeles Times. Well, what sets this apart is essentially the enormous amount of cash involved. But in the end, it does come down to one real big X factor, which is Kelly Sue Park. Two years ago, in a story featured on CBS's 48 Hours, Ueda's office manager, Kelly Sue Park, was acquitted of strangling the doctor's ex-girlfriend, aspiring model Juliana Redding. Find the defendant, Kelly Sue Park, not guilty. At the time, prosecutors described Park as a female James Bond, who was hired to take out Redding after a business deal gone bad between Redding's father and Ueda. Park was cleared of the murder despite the fact that her DNA was found at the crime scene and on Redding's neck. Mrs. Park had touched and left the fingerprint on. Attorney George Bueller stood by Park's side in 2013 and again on Tuesday when she was arraigned on fraud charges. I don't think that she is guilty in this case. It can't help but occur to me that the district attorney's office may have an interest in making her suffer because she was acquitted, so there may be some desire for payback. Park is being held on $18.5 million bail, but the biggest question in the case, where is Dr. Ueda? Prosecutors insist he was arrested last week in Germany and is awaiting extradition, but Nora, an attorney who previously represented Ueda, tells CBS this morning the doctor is not in custody. Wow, an incredible investigation, Vlad. Thank you so much.